That's it. Hey, man. What is that? Oh, this? It's a dog box and a Yoda? Hmm. Looks kind of small. How many dogs can you put in there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe one or two per side, depending on how big the dogs are. That seems kind of pointless. What kind of race is that going to be? Well, what are you working with there, big boy? Well, that may be a dog box in a Yoda, but this here is a dog box on a Yoda. What's up YouTube? Jack Armstrong, Jack Daddy Customs, coming at you today with another DIY project. And uh, this is a dog box. So, so dog hunting has changed a lot since when I was younger and used to do it. Uh, you know, I used to coon hunt a lot back in my high school days. And I even grew up with some buddies that uh, used to dog hunt for deer and stuff like that. And uh, you know, back then, just anything you could get in the bed of the truck to hold a dog, that was the deal. So a lot of times we just had old plywood boxes uh, fashioned together. One guy had a piece of cable stretched across the bed of his truck and he would just hook the dog's collar to the cable. Uh, but that was a long time ago. You know, we didn't have tracking systems. Things have advanced. One of the ways it's changed is the box. So uh, a lot of people are running these aluminum, like over the rail dog boxes and they're super lightweight. It makes it easy to get it in and out with one person. Uh, but some guys are running these whole beds now and they can put a pile of dogs in here. And, uh, and this is just one of them, and uh, I'm going to show you the process of building this. So I hope you guys follow along at the end. We'll give you some detailed looks of this whole box, and uh, maybe you build your own, and uh, maybe you'll see this guy out in the woods with a pack of dogs. The very first step in the process is going to be to make a drawing or get some plans. Here's our drawing. Not much to it, but it gives us some rough dimensions to go off of so that we can just start getting this thing put together. Uh, once you get your drawing, you're going to need to take that bed off and then you can just start putting some cross braces on. We got these cross braces set up. We just got them clamped to the frame. Uh, and then once you get your cross braces, you can work on laying out the frame of the bed. You want to make sure you get a good solid bumper built. Uh, this was built out of quarter inch aluminum. We went all the way down to the receiver hitch to make sure we had a solid mount up there. And then, uh, of course, we bolted it to the frame. And everything is welded to the bed as a whole. So uh, just make sure that you've got a good solid bumper. Then get some help and start putting the diamond plate top on the bed. And uh, Ram's a big help here. I get it slid on there and start tacking it together. Once I get it tacked up all the way around the uh, one edge, then I'll move on to the other side. Slide it in place, tack it up as well. And we're ready to move on to putting some uprights on top of the bed. So that's what we have here. Uh, these are our outside edges. We gotta measure out where the doors are gonna be. Take the top piece. And Get that tacked into place. Hit the other side and then put on the middle pieces. We want this top to be strong enough to stand on. So we wanna make sure we got plenty of bracing in there to make it as strong as we need it to be. This is our divider. Uh, this dog box is gonna have two bays. So we went ahead and built this out, squared it up and uh, built this on the outside and then slid it in to where it goes. Took some finagling to get everything just right, make sure everything's good and square, but we got it. Now for the roof or floor, depending on how you look at it. Get it slid into place. Tag it up, and we just got to move on to this last little strip on the side, give you guys a top view, and then the roof will be complete.
Now we're moving on to the side fenders, and uh, I got the boys to help me put this in the metal brake. Uh, I can do it by myself, but it's a lot easier if you got some good help. So we get it clamped down, start working that thing up, rocking it up. It's not made for metal this thick. This is one eighth inch aluminum, uh, but it bends okay. So we got the main profile bent, and then we bent some 90s on the bottom just to make it where there's no sharp edge. All right, let's take a quick break and let me tell you about something exciting. Uh, if you are watching this video, chances are you are an outdoorsman. So uh, let me just tell you about these books that I've written. One is called Mystery in the Marsh. One is called Barracuda Bombshell. And we've got two more in the works. Uh, one's about deer hunting and the other one is about tracking dogs. I've had people tell me that they couldn't get their kids to read any other books out there. But these books, uh, their kids couldn't put down. So, you know, they're designed for kids somewhere between you know like reading age and all the way up through high school uh, and they are awesome outdoor adventure stories i'm going to put the link in the description and uh, go buy these books check them out and watch your kids enjoy reading again and we put it up in there i got a cut out for the gas cap there we'll put it on the side of the truck get it held where it goes and then we'll tack this uh, to hold it in place Just for some of you keyboard warriors, I do have a fire blanket uh, covering up the inside of that gas cap, just not the outside. So here they go. These are the side pieces, both sides. Now on the back, you can see I just put it in the metal brake and uh, took my measurements, broke it where it goes so it fits nice and snug around the edge of the uh, frame that I have built there. Get it put right in place, tack it up as well. And I'm just showing you guys me tacking this stuff. I'm not welding up everything on camera. That just takes forever. I'm showing you guys the fitment. That should be enough to help you get going. This used to be a full toolbox, and I just took it, cut it uh, right where it makes the bend, uh, and then welded it onto this. So that way we've got a nice... Uh, a nice looking square box all the way around and uh and it welds up easy enough and it'll be nice and dry storage up there we weld it all the way around now here's my tubing i put it in my tubing bender you know, after i took my measurements and got it uh, to match the top of the truck just right this is a uh, three quarter inch tubing and I will mount it just to the edge of the toolbox and then I've got some uh, flat pieces to hold it up at different points all the way around the top. Uh, this will be good to uh, keep things from rolling off like maybe you smash a big buck and you can put him up there and not have to worry about him rolling off hopefully. Uh, but then other stuff as well. We'll have a cooler rack on the uh, passenger side closest to the cab. Uh, that will be three quarter inch tubing as well. But once we get that up there, then we gotta put a ladder. We don't have to get on top of it. So we're gonna build a ladder again, three quarter inch tubing and it will weld to the bumper and uh, right up there to those flat pieces that I've got that hold that rail in place. So we'll get this tacked on. This is a waterer that I custom built. Uh, it's got, I think, five inch pipe. It's a little over three feet long, so I think it holds about, uh, I did the calculation, it's like uh, three or four gallons of water, uh, which would be good enough. And uh, so I built it out of tube, and then I got one tube that goes out the top, and that'll be where you fill it. And then of course the tube that comes out the bottom will have a spigot screwed onto that and uh, that'll be where you get the water out got everything bent to keep it nice and tight up against the back so we ain't got dogs knocking heads 
now we got to keep the dogs in there and we're going to put some railing uh the guy that wanted this thing built his design was to have uh angled rails and they would angle uh into both doors and the doors would match the railing uh, but we're going to start with these first get them put on we'll do this all the way around We move on to the doors and the door is just going to be a square frame uh, with a diamond plate on the bottom to match the rest of the truck and uh, angled bars on top and go ahead and weld on these piano hinges these are aluminum piano hinges we're getting those welded in place and of course we've got some stainless steel slam latches that will keep these doors shut fits just right shuts good but we've got to have something uh, to hold that slam latch in place so we're just going to put some quarter inch uh, pieces of metal right here that'll give us just enough to have a nice square stop on the back so that when the door shuts that latch will hit it and stop but it goes too far oh no we're gonna to have to build something up top that's gonna to be a door stop. So we've got a latch stop at the latch. Now we got a door stop at the top. And this will make it where that door will shut just right. Boom, nice. Now we're going to put these railings on here and we're going to match them up just right with the rest of it so it looks like a continual run of one inch tubing and uh, of course it's going to make the door strong as well get all the doors done just like that and the only thing we got left to do is to slide this bed back that was pretty hard it's kind of heavy not super heavy kind of heavy uh, but we got it slid back and then we're sliding this uh this back piece in place this was hard to do by myself but i managed to do it tack that top corner Got it where it goes, tack the bottom, that'll hold it. And then I just run my bead all the way down, go to the other side, do the same thing, and then weld a few in the middle. Now, this right here is a shackle point. We're going to put a shackle on the back door uh, down here by the bottom of this fender. And uh, the purpose is that, you know, you always got dogs. Maybe you got some dogs that aren't yours and you don't want to put them in the bed with yours. Uh, this will just be a nice, easy point to tie a leash to. Uh, maybe put a few straps on there to have multiple dogs on this one spot. So we're just going to get this shackle point welded on, and then we'll screw the shackle on, and uh, this is what we're left with. We'll just put some uh, rubber edge gasket or edge seal. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, it's just rubber, and it's got metal inside that clamps to that other metal. We'll put that around the edge of this uh, little piece I built to go on the gas uh, filler neck. And then uh, we'll just screw it in with some stainless steel self-tapping screws. And we cut these holes out with the plasma cutter, slide our lights right in there. And then we drilled out the holes for the tail lights. And we got tail lights, reverse lights, and blinker all in one with a cool little cage over it. Uh, just to keep branches from busting them up too bad. Here's our filler. We're putting a PVC cap in there. That'll keep it shut. And then, of course, we've got a screw on the water spigot, faucet, whatever you want to call it. And just in case anybody wondered what you would put in there and get out of there, we had to let them know it's the water. Of course, this was a Jack Daddy Customs project, and it's meant to be used in the outdoors. So here we go, Jack Daddy Outdoors. That's it guys hope you guys burn them up this summer and don't forget to like this video drop a few comments what you think about this bed dog box and subscribe to the channel see you later